All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today is our topic about Muslims' claim about uh, translation. Uh, you see, the Muslims, they always try to defend their religion by any way, any mean. And it doesn't matter how they try it, all of it is based on false accusation, and they can't prove it. My books, uh, uh, Brother Amir from Germany, many of you know him already, He's an ex-Muslim, and when he read for them from my book, uh, the Muslim, they say this is a, a false translation. Now, for sure, they are taking advantage that Amir himself did not speak Arabic. Uh, so today, before we start, I welcome anyone from those who say so that my book translation is not true. You call me live on air. I will make you read in Arabic and you translate for us. It's a challenge. Muslims, they themselves accuse each other of false translation. So why they will not accuse us? As you see in front of us, this is the Quran of the Ahmadiyya. Muslim accuse the Ahmadiyya of false translation. The Ahmadiyya, they accuse the Sunni Muslim of false translation. That the rules they accuse everybody accuse actually Muslim Sunni accuse Muslim Sunni of false translation. Actually, if we ask any Muslim which translation of the Quran you accept to be a true translation, he will say none. None. So don't be surprised if you see a Muslim saying such a statement because anything will make Islam look stupid, look foolish. They switch to defense mood and they fabricate answers. We show them a hadith, they say it's weak, without even knowing what the hadith. And by the way, weak hadith is accepted. Uh, like here, is uh, saying to you, like here, this is a, a false translation. Fi kitab in maknun, in a book well guarded. Okay. Uh, those Quranic verses prove Quran as a book. Supposedly the one who is making an argument, he is trying to correct the one who make translation. The fact, it says the truth. It is a book. It says Kitab. So the Muslims accuse each other of false translation, but the fact, Islam is based on agenda. And always they change their opinion and their answer based on the agenda. Islam is a political uh, 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 cult. And... Always when you speak about politics, the first thing come to your mind, games and lying. I'm going to open my Skype. And there is some specific uh, uh, pages in my book which have Arabic uh, text. I'm going to open my Skype and any Muslim he feel, you know, feel free to call us live and I will make you read it and translate. And I want to see how proud you are about your religion. Let me go and open my Skype. Give me a second. So we can give a chance to the Abdul. Don't you want to get the Christian Prince busted? We will see what is in my book. And you translate. Let us see how your translation will fix it. Either you Muslims are trying to take advantage of those who don't speak Arabic, lying to them, or I'm lying. And I don't mind, really, if you can prove me wrong. If, uh, you know, you are more than welcome. You know what I mean? You are more than welcome to prove me wrong. Just do it. That will be a wonderful thing to do. My Skype is open right now. If any Mohammedan like to call. Do we have any Mohammedan in the bushes? Any Mohammedan there from those who worship Muhammad and follow his prophet Allah? Anyone? I will let you Yusuf translate for us. And not only that, by the way, we are going to use Google Translation. Who want to do that? You know, Google Translation, Prophet Google, peace upon him. But even though Google Translation is a, is a stupid translation, but even that will get you busted. So who's going to do that? 
who is the one is willing to call us and show everybody that my book is contained of false translation I'm showing Arabic text but this is not the correct translation I mean what I can do more here we go I go live on air I open my Skype I say here's a Muslim who wanna call us and read for us Faris you want to call me okay call me Faris yeah Faris is a good guy but he hate me very much which is okay I mean actually if you don't hate me that will not make him a Muslim no more and this is why actually I like Faris he hate me very much and he have no answer and uh, I don't know I mean wh why he would have answer he's a he's a Mohammedan have you ever seen a Mohammedan have an answer but he hit me and this is the best thing he can he can do I mean he can't answer me he can't refute me but the best he can do he can hate me as his prophet told him to do where are you uh, Faris are you going to call me my friend call me call me Faris but don't forget to, uh, to tell you you know to get permission from your mom and your dad it's like 50 years old but the guy I don't know each time I speak to a Muhammadan I feel like I'm talking to a kid if uh, Faris call me uh, call me and uh, like do the those uh, like the things the Muslims they do like show me silence me like you know you know those tricks you know just call me call me answer me silence me Elijah mean God with us it's not only you do not know Hebrew you do not know Arabic. Don't embrace yourself. <laughs> what a comedy! Who's uh, where is the uh, Faris? Where is the where is the Muhammad I wanna call me? Call me. Silence me. Here we go. We are here. We are going to put in the front of you the reference as it is, and you read for us, and you translate for us as you wish. Do you want to do that? Should we play music? Call me. Silence me. Answer me right now. Show me. Give it to me. Your answer right now. Call me. Call me. Show me. Show me. Silence me right now. I will curse you by Allah to cut your toes right now. The Muslim will curse me they, they, if you see how many curse I get every day you will not believe it me Allah cut your nose me Allah cut your tongue me Allah cut your finger I mean guys by the cutting I became shish kebab from long time ago I look like your oh God Allah is not listening man. I mean I mean change the prayer man this is why long long time ago the Muslims they pray for my death to to uh, to be killed by a car a week after uh, uh, they called me from the mall. They said you want a car. I said what? He said you want a car. You did. Uh, did you register your name in the uh, in the mall? I uh, said uh, me. Yeah, it was someone actually who did register my name for me, like to to win. So and he said, yeah, you want a car. I was expecting like the hospital to call me to say, uh, uh, Christian Prince, you've been hit by a car because of the Muslim prayer. But look like the Muslim prayer is working opposite direction. Maybe this time I will win a car or maybe a train. So, what we will do now? Are we like, uh, uh, are we stuck? Who is the Muslim when I call me and show me that my translation is not truthful? Hmm? Actually, not if a single translation of any Islamic book is a truthful. Uh, you know, you go to Ibn Kathir in English, it's totally different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Actually, not only to the different, I can say to you, I can guarantee you, that maybe 80% of the Arabic text stories are not exist in the English one. Anyone? I'm really disappointed. So the uh, the uh, our friend Amir, he said, "CP, ZB, ZB, uh, the Muslim are saying your uh, translation is not uh, correct, uh, ZB." I said, "Okay, no problem. What about we make them call us, ZB? What ZB? Where are you? 
Where are you, Muhammadan? I will put the text in the front of your eyes and you translate. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, forget anyone. We we take we take uh, as long Allah chase He created everything in pairs, so we can take in pairs. Any two? Allah created from everything two pairs. I mean, from everything. Are you sure? And actually, the Quran doesn't even say, uh, just to show you an example. Just to show you an example of the stupidity. Hmm. This is the this is the Quran, and this is the Muslim translation. And I have nothing to do with it. Chapter thirteen, verse number three. This translation, this translation of who? Hold on. This is uh, Biktal, the translation of uh, 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 Abdul Biktal, Muhammad Biktal. Okay. So in Muhammad Biktal translation, it says Allah He created from everything two spouses. Kabich, it says what? Two spouses. Any Muslim don't agree? Who is a Muslim don't agree with this translation? Hello? And look, we just changed the translator. Look what happened, brother. Look what happened, brother. Allah made from every kind in pairs two and two okay so which one is the correct one now the first one it says male and female the second translation Allah created from everything two and two two and two barbecue two and two barbecue to rub it to rub it that will make him fall for you I'm confused now what do you mean two and two yeah, because the stupid Quran says so. He was right. The stupid Quran says two and two. It's like T and T. It is two and two. So the other translator, he was thinking about it. He squeezed his head. He squeezed his bum. I mean, what the heck the Quran is saying? Zawjain is nine. How it is Zawjain and then you say it's nine. That will make it two and two. Any Muhammadan? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, sister. My voice, I get it from eBay. And by the way, uh, in case you do not know, we found that eBay is exist in the Quran. Doesn't say in the Quran, obey Allah and obey the messenger. Okay, think about it. Obey. Huh? Allah, almost he said, obey. But it, like, because of the Arabic the, the way of, uh, you know, and it, it became of, uh, 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 obey but in fact it is ebay so the first founder of ebay where you can find pairs which is two and two is allah now who want to prove me wrong any muslim would like to call us guys why you know first time i enter a chat room I was like getting dizzy. Everybody saying to me, Lul, Lul. I opened the dictionary. I start looking for Lul. Lul here, Lul there. I could not find it in the dictionary. And I was saying to myself, what's wrong with those Americans? Is that like a Lul is a famous guy? Is he like a philosopher? Is he a Flaton maybe? He's a Greek person maybe? And who is Lul? And until now we are looking for Lul. However, if you want to find the real Lul, it's in the front of you. Lu Allah. Lu Allah said Allah created from everything two pairs, two and two. Lul. Any Muhammadan? I thank you for telling me, Prophet uh, uh, Allah. Uh, they just told me it means uh, uh, laugh out loud. Uh, thank you. You are just late, 20 years uh, late. To tell me about the meaning but anyway i appreciate that 
So where is the Muhammadan? What what happened to Faris? Hmm? Where is the Muhammadan want to translate for us? Actually, the translation, the Muslims, they are upset from uh, guys. I got a donation, twenty dollars, uh, the twenty, uh, twenty what, twenty pound or euro? Is that because I sang a song? I know that's when I sing, I get donations. Let me sing again then. Two and two, four and four, five and five, seven and seven. The wisdom of Allah, amazing. It's like crazy uh, seven. And by the way, Allah stuck with number seven. Don't tell me why. Muhammad, he like a number, he stuck with it. Number seven. Is that true? I thank you for the conversion of the of, of the currency. See, here we have a lot of assistance. People right away they convert that. Thank you. I was wondering what is that. What, what you guys? You 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 don't like my songs? Honestly, I can write songs very very good. Uh, uh, you know, I don't like English is not my first language. Honestly, I can write. I mean, uh, in Arabic, I'm a poet man. So I can speak and answer you. In the other day, you remember when this guy, Faris, he called me? Faris is listening, right? You know, Faris, he called me. He says, I challenge you to speak Arabic classic. You remember? I smashed him a point about him. I made him shish kebab. I just created the point about him specifically. And I said, okay, answer me now. He could not. So Muslims who agree with this verse, forget about the translation now. Did Allah really create everything in pairs? Did he? Muslims? Do you have male angels and female angels? In different uh, verse on the Quran, Allah he said, by the way, Allah is the founder of a transportation department. And he wanted to tell us what he created for us for the sake of a transportation. Okay. So in chapter 16, verse number 8, Allah said, look with me how I say Allah. I don't say it normally because you have to feel it. Allah said, this is what the Muslim do. Allah, take it easy, man. I mean, you might break your back with this Allah. Now look, he Allah, he created horses and mule and donkeys, so you can ride them. I Allah is so good to be true, man. How he knew that? Allah, he sat in his desk and he was like, What I will tell them today, what I will tell them today, what I will tell them today. I cannot say I am the one who made Audi, I cannot say I am the one who made the BMW, I cannot say I'm the one who made Honda. I'm going to tell them. Mule and horses and donkey are made by me. But hold on. Is it he who said from everything we created pairs? Okay, what is the mule of a mule? What is the what is the male and female of a mule? Allah created the mules. As much as I know and I remember, mule is not created by anyone. Because when you say I created a mule, that means there was an individual or a creature exists by its kind it's called a mule a mule simply is one night stand dating between a horse and a donkey they went to the bar to drink beer when they are leaving the horse he said to the donkey mm -hmm. the donkey said oh oh and you know the rest and then after a few months they got a baby mule how you say that I created the mule? Who is the mule here? You send Faris a message? Uh, don't try, because Muslims are uh, uh, a message proof. Uh, I mean, like bulletproof. Don't send message. You know, even Allah, when he sent message to Muhammad, Muhammad could not get it. The, the angel, he was squeezing him three times. 
He squeezed him. He says to him, read. Uh, Muhammad looked at him like, what the heck? What's wrong with you? I do not know how to read you, idiot. The guy, he squeezed him again. Read. And the guy, like Muhammad, looking at him, why are you all squeezing me? <laughs> I can't breathe no more. I told you I cannot read, man. And then the angel, he squeezed him three times. And why, by the way, three times? Just let it. So now who is the one who want to call us to get us busted about the translation? Translation of my books. Fake translation. What a shame. Disgusting. Who want to call us? Who is willing to call us voluntarily? Guys, if you did not subscribe to our page yet, please subscribe. And if you are already subscribed, don't forget to unsubscribe. And this is how we can make action in our life. You know, life is boring. I mean, you subscribe to this guy, you come the second day, what you would do now? You can't subscribe again. So what do you do? You unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, and that will give a value for and deed from Allah to you. This is how the Muslims understand their religion. Because Muhammad, he told them the good deed erase the bad deed. So what I will do, yesterday I will hit you, and today I will give you a hug. And then the day after, I will hit you again. I mean, that's amazing, beautiful. Any Abdul? I'm so disappointed. I thought the Muslims will be calling me like crazy now. Uh, we have a brother, Amir, is calling. Hello. Hey, brother. Hey, Amir. How are you? I'm fine, man. And you? I'm all right. What is the guys who said to you that my translation are, is bad? I, I don't know. The coward, is run, they are run away. <laughs> well, I, I, well uh, uh, I want you to do this. Go to your channel and go and do live. Uh, go live and tell them Christian Prince right now is waiting for any Muslim to call him live on air and get him busted. How many? How yeah, many? Not, how many? Not, how many subscribers you have in your channel? What did you say? How many subscribers you have in your channel now? Uh, 55, uh, 55,000. 55,000. There's no way from 55,000, not even one of them speak Arabic. I mean, come on. You know? So <laughs> one Muslim, all what we need, one Muslim, he have the courage and the knowledge just to read, read Arabic, read and translate. He can translate in German, no problem, and he can translate in English, you know? Uh -huh. Challenge them. We want to see because when they say we are lying in the translation, well, here we go. We are here, and this is the text we are going to translate. This is the one you asked me about the book of Al Mabsut. Hmm? Uh, can you go every uh, um, uh, reference that you give in your book from uh, reference one? Not you give three <laughs> reference from Al Mabsut. Yeah, this is Al Mabsut in front of us here in front of us. And uh, this is the this is the Islamic website. This is the page number. This is the volume, and this is the story we are reading from, where it says that if somebody have sex with a child, he will not be punished for having sex with the child. If I am lying, I want the Muslim to get me busted right now, right here. Who want to do that? <laughs> Any Muslim? Yeah. ولا يميل إلى وطء الصغيرة التي لا تشتهى ولا تحتمل الجماع فلهذا لا حد عليه. <laughs> Who wanna translate for us? Who is the Muslim brave? He wanna call and translate for us. I'm not going to translate. You translate. Why Muslims are so filthy that they, they are lying in their uh, videos? No, no, not all Muslims are. You know, the Muslims, there's some, some of them, they fool the others. Some, those, those, the filthy one is the one who they are lying. But, you know, I believe there are some Muslims, they are just, uh, you know, victim of this cult and they are nice people. So those who claim that we are lying, all what they need to do to call us and say it doesn't say that. And not only that, we can use Google Translation. And not only that, you know, you can take yourself, I will post the link in the chat. Anyone can take it, post it, 
use a software yes. translation or give it to a friend or do whatever you want it's a challenge so why okay. we know the reason they lie because this is very embarrassing very embarrassing <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, because the um, the filth that the Imam written in his book let Islam look like a filthy pedophile. No, no, religion, no, no. You know? the, the Imam is not writing a filth. He is writing. He's not writing a filth, my friend. Islam is a is a is a bad religion. This guy is just doing what Islam teach. It's not his fault. We don't, we, we don't wanna. Yeah, we don't wanna blame the guy for what Muhammad told them. You know, this is what Islam is about, and he is saying this is what the rules of it. You know, we don't want to blame. And as you see here, he is telling you what Abu Hanifa said, what etc. All the big imams they are saying. So he is not giving his own uh, opinion. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not only here in the in the in the uh, in the, uh, in the uh, section after it says, وَإِذَا جَامَعَ صَبِيَّ فَأَفْضَاهَا وَمِثْلَهَا لَا يُجَامَعَ if he have se sexual relationship with a little a young one and which the kind you cannot have sex with me she's so so child so young it's not forbidden for him still to have sex with the mother and the daughter and this is according to Abu Hanifa and the Imam Muhammad here we're going in front of our eyes so who wanna call me and says you are lying Hmm? Wow. So you see my books everything I have there it, the text is there the Arabic text is there the story is there the reference is there by the page by the number by the volume and here we go we have it in the Muslim website too so what we can do mm -hmm. they are lying not us yeah I, I will uh, cut that uh, part in for my um, uh, video and I will explain it for the German people yeah, and I will make commercial for your book again for a last toyshun in Germany. All right. Because Muslims yeah, that, are yeah. run away from. It. Yeah, uh, they don't uh, want to invade your life. You know, they make one hundred videos and want to explain that you are a liar and something like this. You know, but no one step in a bad life and um, caught you lying. You know. Well, that's mean they are lying because otherwise I'm here. And you know, I am I'm yes. I'm, uh, I'm, sh I'm showing the reference in the front. Not only that, actually, there's many yes. things in my book I did not mention, uh, uh, like exactly. uh, uh, um, you know, if I want to show as an example, as long as we are talking about uh, such a story, what about here? It's about a man having sexual relationship with a child. She is a female. Okay. What what about this? Let me show you this. And I want any Muslim to tell me I'm lying again. This is the book of Al Insaf. Al al Hanbali. This is according to Ibn Hanbal. The Hanbali are, is a big sect in Islam. Al Kitab, the name, the name of the Kitab, Al Insaf, the book of Ad Diyat, which means like you know you pay money for something you did. Bab mm -hmm. Zina, the chapter of adultery, the the, the, the penalty of adultery, very number two. Then, problem number ten, or very number ten, of the problem. قَوْلَهُ أَوْ زَنَا بِصَغِيرًا And he's saying, having uh, uh, fornication with a child. إِنْ كَانَ يُطَأُ مِثْلَهَا If it is okay, if it's possible to someone like that, that to to step on her, which means to jump her. And even the, even the word used in Arabic is disgusting. He did not say even to have sex. He said, يُطَأ This is what the Muslim, they say, يُطَأ Which means you jump on her as if she is, she is a... a, a, a uh, uh, like uh, an animal and you are an animal and then uh, so if he do that according to this, uh, the, this, this scholar here uh, Ibn Hanbal, so he will have a penalty in this case okay and then he called Imam Ahmad and then he says let us see I will show you something people will, 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 will die laughing وقال القاضي, وقال القاضي, uh, وقي, uh, sorry this is one of the opinion, but the rest of the opinion is saying, and Imam Ahmad. Imam Ahmad says, La, uh, yuhad, and then he says, ahad al -wujud. So one of the opinion, and then he says, and it says there's no penalty. And this is according to the sect. And then he continues saying, 
and according to uh, 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 according to Al Mughni, let us go back a little bit. Sorry, here, yeah. and then he says. Uh, لا حد على منطقة صغيرة لم تبلغ تسعن. No penalty for someone he have a sexual intercourse with a child she is under the age of nine. And then wow. it says, and so if a woman, this is about a woman now, not only about children who they are female. If a woman she did uh, enter the private part of a male child under the age of eleven, there is no penalty on her too. Who is the Muslim when I say I'm lying? If a woman, she rape a child under the age of 11, there is no penalty to. <laughs> Man, this is the religion of the Satan. And we can go right now to Google Translation. I will do it in English first, and then we will choose German. I don't know what the German will, will appear to be, but, you know, whatever in translation it says. So... Look, look, look at the translation of the word wata. You see, I said the word wata is disgusting. Look, the translation is some coming as pump. If you pump a woman. <laughs> so if you pump a child, she is under the age of nine. You know, there is no penalty. So and then if a woman, she enter, she did intercourse with a child who is under the age of 11, there is no penalty too. Or under the age of ten years, sorry, under the age of ten years. You see, if she have, if a woman she have intercourse with a child under the age of ten, there is no penalty for her too. So sex with the children is allowed in Islam for male to have sex with a child, and for female to have sex with a child. And let us go now and see translate to uh, to uh, uh, how to change the translation here. We need to switch translation to German. Let us try the German. Hold on. I mean, this is Islam. Are we making things up here? We go. It's in the front of our eyes. They can call and they can prove us wrong, and everybody will see. Let us try here in in German. Uh, translate. I don't want to translate to English directly. Let us see how we can change the translation. Not to German, not to English. Hmm. Uh, you see, when I click translate, it's going to go to English directly, and I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us see. Optional. Translate, change language from Arabic to German. Let us see German. Where is German? Here we go. Now, I don't know what it's going to say in German language. You tell me. This is in German. So where is the Muslim who don't agree with our translation? An adult Muslim, he can have sexual relationship with the children. An adult Muslim, a female, she can have sex with a child, boy, too, and there is no penalty. He is not even 10 years old. Do you see the screen, uh, Amir? Yeah, I see the screen, but it is not uh, so accurate uh, for the translation. No, for sure. I so this is, uh, this is Google. And what I can do. I mean, just um, trying. This is what is available. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, tell them. And we are here not only today, only any time tomorrow, the day after, next year, any day. A Muslim who complain <laughs> about my in German, my German book, my English book, etc. Call me and get me busted, and let everybody laugh. We don't lie; it is them who lie. Thank you, Amir, for calling me. And uh, if you have some Abdul, let them call me right away, please. All right. Okay, brother. Thank you very much. Take care, my friend. Take care. Okay. Take care. Bye. So now what we will do? You must and don't call me. Should I sing for you? Call me baby. Hmm. Christian brands, Christian brands. All right. 
I wish all the world will learn Arabic overnight and wake up in the morning to see how stupid this cult is and how disgusting it is. The only way for Islam to succeed is not to tell you what Islam is about. So what the Muslim try to present to you about Islam? Hey brother, we worship one God. His name is Allah, brother. Not like the Christian brother. They worship a three God, brother. But the Christian don't worship three God. <laughs> hey brother, Islam is the only religion, brother. Following Abraham, brother. Okay, you are following Abraham, but you kiss black stone. Mwah! And the black stone in the shape of a vagina. Why? Uh, Allah, brother, he sent this stone from heaven, brother. Well, Allah, he sent a donkey too. The Quran says, even the mule sent by Allah. So shall we kiss the mule and go around the mule, brother? So they are not pagan, but they pray in the direction of a stone. And they kiss a stone. And they believe the stone have two eyes and mouth in the judgment day. And is going to witness for every Abdul in the judgment day. And the black stone is the right hand of Allah. And the one who touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, Allah erased his sin. Yet they are not pagans. If this is not pagan, so what is pagan? Those who attack Christianity, they say Jesus never exists. My friend, just ask him what is the date today. He will say to you, okay, today is the 5th of July, 2019. And tell him, you got busted, Abdul. <laughs> or atheist. <laughs> this is the date by Christ. It's 2019. Even your computer, your salary, your machines, the internet, everything in the world, satellite, your watch, your smartphone, work by the date of Christ. You like it, you don't like it, it's a fact. Live with it. Any Abdul? Hello? Many Christians leaving Christianity because of him? Because of him who? Where are they those who they are leaving Christianity? My friend, I mean, and when somebody says many Christians leave Christianity as if a Christianity is like a, a comp corporation and uh, people, they are investing in stock market. Uh, what I know that Christianity is the, the most hard to track belief. China, the giant China is coming to Christ as never ever before. South Korea used to be zero Christian. And now the majority of population, the Buddhists there are not even 10% in South Korea. This is a country used to be 100% Buddha. Thailand, Indonesia, the biggest Islamic countries. What are you talking about? Let me tell you what Muslims and others they do. When somebody leave a Christianity, they make a big party. Allahu Akbar, brother. This American, he took Shahada, brother. But there is every day, according to Al Jazeera TV, 16,000 Abdul leave Abdulism. They convert from the religion of Abdulism to the Christian of a Christian to the, to the, to the religion of a Christianity or belief. According to Al Jazeera TV, 16,000 a day. Six millions a year. You can search it in YouTube. So if you want to count everyone, how many how many Abdulism left Abdulism religion in my in my life, YouTube? Just me. Uh, guys, how many of you saw Abdulism leaving uh, Abdulism religion here? How many of you? We have hundreds, we don't count them. I don't even know how many left left Islam but life on air. I don't count those who don't spoke to me under air or even those who did not even know about them. I'm my friend. Everybody is free. God is uh, He made us free. The one who want to be Christian, be Christian. The one who want to be uh, Abdulism, be Abdulism. The one who want to worship a cow, worship a cow. Have have fun. Everyone goes where he belongs. Is that fair? 
everyone goes where he belong once somebody asked me he says have you ever been in a strapteza club i said no they said why i said everyone goes where he belong why i want to go to strapteza club even the name is not nice strip tease in arabic tease mean but i mean you want to go to strap tease everyone go where he belong the fly go to the garbage the bees go to the to the to the flowers freedom hmm? everyone go where he belong Yeah, just invented by me, Abdulism. Yeah, you guys, the new, the new uh, 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 <laughs> invention. I just created a new uh, Abdulism. I don't know how I come with this, but I mean, I think it's perfect, Abdulism. It is Abdulism because every Muslim is a slave of Allah. So this is a religion of the slavery. Why Allah created the mankind? Because He wanted the slaves. Where we can find that in the Quran. In the book of Abdulism, you don't believe me? Here we go. Let us go to the book of Abdulism. And I will show you. All right. Who was a Muslim when I call us and tell us how this happened? Chapter 51, verse 56. Why Allah created genie and mankind? And by the way, nice to meet you, genie. Genie in the ball. This is a religion who believe in genie in the ball. The Prophet of Allah, he told the Muslims, if you see a hole in the ground, don't piss in it. Why? Because genie, he lived there. What? Genie, he, he lived where? Genie, he lived in the hole in the ground. Okay, so how, how Muslim now can use the toilet seat? You are breaking the command of the Prophet. Who is a Muslim? He say I'm lying, so I can show the reference that the genie he live in the hole in the ground, brother. Any Abdulism? I sit in the twilight seat and I'm warrior. Really, man, imagine you sit there and then a genie come from underneath of you, and he look at you like, look what you did to my head, like what I did. Don't you see the poo poo you have? And uh, uh, imagine what the genie can do. There is a there is a video. There's a video of uh, a Muslim uh, sheikh. I don't know if you saw it, guys, about, about the genie, he go inside your anus. Anyone saw the video on YouTube? Like you go in the bathroom and you think you want to do it like in five minutes and then you're like, eh, eh, and he like, he, he, even he show you how to do it, you know, eh, eh, but it's not coming, eh, eh, and the Muslims are dying laughing. And then he says, the prophet said, the prophet said, so don't laugh at me. You know, he's saying to them, stop laughing. Show respect, this is what the prophet said. So eh, eh, and the and and the genie supposedly now he is going inside your anus and he is blocking it. Islam, my friend, Islam is a this is a, this is the religion of high tech. I wish I can play the video for you. I played this video in a church. If I tell you, everybody was dying from laughing, and people they sweat until their t-shirts became wet. You will not believe it. I was I was doing the, the the seminar in the Philippines. You know it's hot there already, and the air condition is not doing any good job, because we have a very huge crowd. Like the space fit for a certain number, but there's no place for people to sit. It's like a stadium, you know, like a, a basket a basketball stadium. Stadium. Tell you about Gog and Magog. I cannot tell you about Gog and Magog. The second I talk about it, Gog and Magog appear in my door. Last time I speak about Gog and Magog, Jehovah's Witnesses knock at me. 
I opened the door. Who are you? They said Gog and Magog. I said so. Okay. So what do you want? They said we are Jehovah's Witnesses. I said okay. Do you want? Uh, uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for them each time they come to my door. <laughs> Unbelievable! They didn't know that it's a trap. You know, I I I, I, I made a sign actually. In certain time, and my neighbor asked me why you have the sign. I I, I I made a sign. It says Jehovah's Witnesses are welcome. <laughs> Unbelievable! <laughs> I'm crazy at this guy, the Arabic guy. My neighbor he says, "Why you have the sign? They will come to your door, man." I said, "So, it's a trap." He said, "What do you mean?" I said, "You will know later." <laughs> So Jehovah's Witnesses are welcome. Uh, Abdulazim are welcome. Everybody is welcome. Who, who's next? Allah created the jinn and the heaven just to worship me. By the way, translation here is is false. What serve me? Allah, He needs uh, somebody to serve Him. Why? You want to make coffee, teas? <sighs> thank you, thank you, John. Do we have any Abdul here? Guys, why you all of you do lul? I mean, you, I invite you to teach you something useful. You start doing lul, lul. And you know what? I wish we can just collect this lul and I do shopping with it. It's like like a coupon for it. Can we convince like Walmart instead of giving them money, give them lul? Imagine if we can collect all this lul and we go or we give it to Allah. You know, Allah He says to me, Christian Prince, what you were doing? Why you are not worshiping me? I will say to him, <laughs> Allah, look what I have for you. <laughs> and I open the case and it's full of lul. So what is that? Allah, each time the human being and the genie, they hear you talking, they lul. What are you talking about? Why they are luling? Uh, I forgot to tell you, Allah. I uh, look like you dropped us in the lul land. Who is the Muslim who want to show us something is not funny and stupid in this book? Is this translation is accurate, Muslims? Who agree with this translation? Who agree with this translation? Be honest with me. Is it really to serve or to worship? As I know, it's to worship, not to serve. <clears throat> Who is here first time in our channel? Read the Arabic verse, please. Okay, I will read the Arabic verse. Do you want me to read like Zach and Mag or like Arab people? <laughs> There are people who do not speak Arabic. And I think double. I will give you an example. There's a guy named the Christian Prince. And he don't speak Arabic. And we ask him to read for us in Arabic. And he thought he read in the Urdu. My God, the dinner will end in the room. Zach and Nag, this is not what the verse is saying. My God, the dinner will end in the room. This is what the verse is saying in Arabic? This is not Arabic. What is that? This is the Urdu. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ and an Arab, and I expect him to be a Mossad agent. Mm. So, so Allah created us just to worship Him. Yes, Muhammad he said in different a story that Allah. Look, I say I say the same as Muslim. Allah, Allah. Okay. Brother, there's a lot of pressure on you now. Allah, okay. Uh, he created us, brother, to make sin and to do sin. Otherwise, if we don't sin, brother, Allah will destroy us. Is that a true or a lie? It is true. Read with me, please. Please. We are. We don't say please. We say please. We don't have P in Arabic. Like another day. A guy from Pakistan was saying to me, why you say Pakistan instead of Pakistan? Abdul, you should know better. We are Arab. We don't have P. It's a Pakistan. Okay. By him, whose hand is my life. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. What? 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 I did not hear it. I honestly, I did not hear it. Repeat it again. 
Did the person with name the clear prince? You have to repeat for him one at a time to gain the time. Because Allah in the Quran said that the Christian are very slow. And look how slow he did. Okay, Zakir Naik, I don't understand. I'm slow. What I can do? Christians, we are Christians. We are kuffar. We are slow. We make the, we make the phone for you, but we are slow. We make electricity for you, but we are slow. We make cars for you. We are slow. We make everything for you. We are slow. But you are fast in drinking camel urine. Now, by him in whose hand is my life, Muhammad is swearing by Allah. Allah. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. Oh, brother, we just made Allah unhappy, upset, because we did not commit sin. Have you ever heard of a mad cult like this before? Let me introduce to you Abdulism cult. This is literally the Abdulism cult. It's called Islam, Abdulism. I don't understand the language. Some some people are talking to me in, uh, in Indonesian. Is that Indonesian? My mic is little disturbed. Okay, what happened? Hold on. No, my mic is fine, guys. Is it fine? Do I have a problem with my mic? Let me open the chapter of the genie and I will read so in case there are genie in the mic. Do you know that the prophet he have a chapter is called the genie chapter? I'm serious. Yes, yes. There's a chapter, brother. It's called the genie. I'm not kidding. Okay, should I swear by the genie for you that this is what we have? By the genie. By the genie. By the genie, by the genie. Do we have any uh, any Muslim to tell us about the genie? Look at the names of the child. Look here. See, genie. You see it? The jinn. Oh, genie. And by the way, the Muslim believe that there is male genie and female genie, and it's my wish to marry from a female genie. And I will tell you the benefit of marrying a female genie. First of all, she will never need a credit card. She's a genie. She can go invisible. She do shopping. She bring all the beef steak, the shrimp, the lobsters, the clothes, the lingerie for herself. I will not pay a penny. I mean, that will be the fantastic, the, the best marriage ever. Marry from a genie who is going invisible. But I hope she will not be invisible too when we have sex. That will be something. Like, are you there? Honey, I'm here in the bed, honey. I can't see you. Where are you? Having sex with a genie? You Muslims, you believe really that? Um, yes, if you have, how many of you have my book, Sex and Allah? How many of you have it? Okay, thank God nobody have it. <laughs> I'm just joking. I, I, actually, the Muslims are buying this book like crazy, and they love it because they are astonished of how much information they never heard of in their religion. And the religion is called the Abdulism. Sex and Allah. And by the way, I did not put everything. It's too valium, but I did not put everything. I put what is enough to show you how crazy this cult is. Otherwise, if I want to make the book ready or books about sex and Allah, I have to write maybe 20, 30 books more to cover maybe maybe 5% of the sexual cult. Do we have any Muslim here who want to say something? How you really, how, how you Muslims believe that you can have sex with a genie? And who is the genie? What is that? There's a guy, he saw his wife, he opened the door. And he claimed that she was having sex with the genie and the proof she have fire in her bushes. We 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 I'm really convinced that Islam is a true religion. I mean, how in the world somebody don't believe in this religion? What's wrong with you? Why you don't? 
How dare you? I wonder how, I wonder why. You told me about the blue, blue sky and all what I can see. Blue genie around me, I turn my head up and down. So where is the Muslims going to call us? You made me come on, on air and make a challenge. And I was expecting the Muslim to call me left or right. And the phone will be like, and until now, we don't have not even terren terren. Anyone? No one. Nobody. Nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody, 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 no. Hey, Christian Prince, the name of your book, Deception of Allah, is a full of lie because Allah don't deceive. You want to challenge me? Who want to challenge me? Twenty-three dislike, guys. Twenty-three dislike. We have a twenty-three Muslim, but none of them dare to call us. At least. Don't forget, by the way, to download the video immediately after we finish, because this is why. I mean, the reason the reason they don't dare to debate me because they knew. And they are no match and we are saying the truth we are saying the truth and the truth will set you free Arabian prophet your Skype is hiding no it's not hiding give me if you are a Muslim give me your Skype I will call you no problem no excuse if you are a Muslim give me your Skype I will call you My Skype is with Mickey Mouse, right? Do you know that the Muslim they have a fatwa in Mickey Mouse to kill him? Even Mickey Mouse for them is wanted. Nobody is safe from this cult. <clears throat> Anyone? Hello? Anyone? I'm really disappointed. So we have 1,000 people watching, not even one Muslim on a call us. Why? Okay, you know what? We change the topic for you. You call me, you tell me anything good about Islam. Anything good about Islam. Anyone? Anything good? Forget about bad things. We won't ask you about bad things. Anything. I will not even ask you a question. You 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 know you call me and you tell me, ask me this question. You choose the question for me. I ask you the question. You you, you told me to ask you. What do you think? Hello? So Allah will kill us if we don't commit sin. Sorry, guys, I can't stay here for long because I have to go and commit sin. Because we have we have only twelve hours to finish the sin. Otherwise, Allah will destroy us. I encourage you, brothers and sisters. We have to commit sin, and after we commit sin, we go and ask Allah for forgiveness. What a game! What a game! What a lonely God this God is. This God, he need to see a mental doctor. Let me call Mr. Bean. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Bean. Mm. Uh, Mr. Bean, we have a person. If we don't commit sin, he said he will kill us. Which means if we don't do something wrong to him, he will be upset and he will kill us. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Bean, do you think uh, we can see you today to discuss this uh, issue? Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, am I calling Mr. Bean now or Johnny English? Who is a Muslim want to tell us what happened? Mr. Bean will not answer. Johnny English will not answer. Muhammad is not answering. And the, uh, the Abdulism is not answering. So what we will do?
Anyone? Can you? Mansoor at speaker corner was busted and ex-Muslim, he said, the guy was a Christian prince. Uh, I don't know what they mean. I don't go to speaker corner. You know, uh, uh, we Arab, we hate corners, to be honest with you. We hate corners. Anyone knows why? Why we Arab, we hate corners? The reason we hate corners, if you don't really understand why, go and look at the Kaaba. It has four corners. And this is exactly what all bad things happened. In the black stone corner, there is a black stone. brother the mysterious stone of Allah you put your head inside it and don't ask me what is next hmm this is the stone of Allah and we have to put our head inside it like, look at this guy. He's looking for what exactly? What do you think he will find inside? The brother. And look, the police guy here is being sure that his head is getting in. And we, I mean, thank you, police. Push him, push him. Maybe he was afraid if he could put his head too much inside, he cannot get out. So who is a Muslim want to prove us wrong? No one? So we wait for them to call us, nobody call. Get us busted, nobody want to do it. I mean, oh. Why I delete videos? So what if I delete? They are mine and I'm free to delete them. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Secondly, it's very easy to find my videos. Search for the same title and filter within, within the last 24 hours and you will find many people downloading my videos. My videos never deleted. It's only deleted my channel. Hmm. Any Muhammadan? So you say to the Christians you are pagan and you Muslims are not pagan? What do you think about what? Microbes? What microbes? I never met any microbes all my life. I I I I, I don't know what micro what is that microbes? What is that? <clears throat> Uh, bacterian disease germ what, what this question is somebody told you that uh, CB is Dr. CB why you are asking me about bacteria my friend somebody told you my name is my Zakarnaik or I will ask I will answer you the, the uh, base on Zakarnaik knowledge a brother the term the thing that they discovered that they did the microbes and microbes are very 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 aggressive and we can find that very in the Quran where Allah speak that Allah he created microbes. As example, in the Quran we have a verse about microbes. May Allah micro you. Where is that? I want to see that. <laughs> I saw videos Muslims saying the Quran speak about cement, concrete. I mean, you name it, internet, satellite, brother. Everything in the world is in the Quran, brother. True story.
Mm. So what now? We don't have Muslim to debate us? That's it? I was in the tree. Uh, did I say I was in the tree? Here we go. An atheist, he will hear us and he will say, see, I prove to you that the origin of a human being are monkeys. I should not say I was in the tree. Atheist will use it against us. I was in the flying carpet. That's better. That's better. That's more. Actually, this is more acceptable. You know, just say that the prophet said, and anything you say after that is true. Just say the prophet said. Trust me. Tell a Muslim. The prophet said and make up anything he will agree immediately I'm not saying I'm not saying to you to lie. No, that's not my attention But just to show you that it doesn't matter how silly how stupid what you said he agree right away the prophet said Especially if you make it about science Brother, do you know that there is a scientist his name Michael Jackson? And he is a fan Taiwan He said the brother that there is ton uh, 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 sorry, not ton. There is a, a, a ton, ton creature, which is coming from Tom and Jerry, and found it two million years ago. And this is discovery nobody knows yet, except the Prophet of Allah. The Muslim right away will agree, and he will make a video about it. Anyone understand anything? Me too, I did not understand anything anyway. Hmm? 27 dislike. The number of dislike of Muslims is increasing. <laughs> this is all because of Brother Amir. Brother Amir, he made the, you know, he made an announcement and that said, the Muslims are coming by waves. I, I mean the Abdulism. So that's it. There's no more. There's no Muhammad that will call us. Okay, uh, guys, I'm thinking to go back on live on air on life. I mean, what kind of English this English is? This is what happened when you teach an Arabic guy, Arab guy English. I want to go back on life. Like, where are you now? Oh, I forgot to tell you that we are Abdul. We believe in the punishment of the grave. Punishment of the grave. Even in the grave, you, we are dead and we are punished in the grave now. Yes, brother. There's two angels, brother. They will come to you, brother, and they will have a hammer made from steel, and they will ask you three questions. Who is this guy? If you don't say Muhammad, if you say Christian Prince, they will hit you. You have to say Muhammad, remember. Don't say Christian Prince. I know you will say Christian Prince because he look ugly. You think it's me. Well, he is ugly like me, but he's not, I mean, <laughs> this guy is not me. Trust me. So you have to say Muhammad. And then we'll ask you a second question. Who is you? What is your religion? Uh, you say uh, Islam. You say Islam, you are safe. You say Christianity, boom. They hit you in your head, brother. And then you will go 70 feet down the ground. And they will ask you, who is your God? You say Allah. Don't say Jesus. Don't say Buddha. The second you say any of those, they hit you. Now, I don't know what they will do to you if you say, uh, I am an atheist. The, the story did not mention this, by the way. I think an atheist is fine. I, I'm just, I'm guessing, I don't know, because it doesn't say anything about atheists. What, if they ask the, the atheist, who's your God, what he will say? He will not answer. So how they can hit him? Unbelievable. Anyway. Uh, guys, I'm not going to stay long. I thought we would have some Abdul to call us and as you see I will try to come back live on air later maybe yeah. It's going to be uh, Early morning for people in Europe same time is going to be like noon time for people in uh, Indonesia and uh, Asia so we will try to gather as many to join us uh, always don't forget to please to subscribe and uh, don't forget please to download the videos post them your channel and 
they will bring you a great, uh, you know, a lot of uh, subscribers. So downloading my videos is not just useful for the benefit of mankind, but it is for your benefit too. Will bring you a lot of subscribers, especially the genie, <laughs> especially the female genie. If you are a male, unbelievable! You should see how many female genies they contacted me every day. In case you do not know, the Muslim believe there is a female genie who is a Muslim. Female genie is a Christian. Female genie is a Hindu. Mm -hmm. And guess what? All the female genie they are contacted me are atheist, which is making me upset. I mean, where is the Christian genie? Oh, hold on. We have a Muslim. What is that? A Muslim, he texted me? I cannot believe that. I really cannot believe that. Hold on. Hold on. Why? He hang up. I think his mom should did not let him answer. What minute, please? What, last time you tell me one minute, it took you five years. Guys, look what this Abdul he said to me. Just let me show you. We believe in 144 prophet and have been sent around the world. 144. <laughs> That's so good, man. Can you give me their names? 100. Forty-four thousands, include in Germany, Japan. He will go to a quiet place. Uh, that's me in the bathroom. I'm just translating the language of the Abdulism. Guys, Allah He sent one hundred forty-four prophet, one hundred forty-four thousand, not forty-four. Hmm. True story. And now he is going to a quiet place so he can call us. Hmm. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? 144,000. They don't know even who they are. And I want to know where he got this number from. All the way to Japan, even Japan, even Germany. This is a, the Muslim prophet who came before Muhammad to Germany. Hmm. Is that Hitler? I don't think this guy will call me. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. Again, I will keep this video for a very short time, not long. Please download it right away and paste it in your channel. And I will be back maybe later, a few hours from now. You will see, you will, you will see the update in my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And uh, if you are first time here, I advise you not to come again because you will be addicted. There's many things will happen to you if you keep coming to my channel. First, first of all, you will gain weight. The reason you laugh a lot and it's very brother oh, I got I got a call we got a fish you believe it we got a fish hello assalamualaikum alaikum how are you abdulism how are you alaikum salam so hold on hold on you tell me you, you have one hundred forty four thousand prophets sent by Allah um yeah around that number around the whole world about you're not sure are you not what do you mean like about this number is it one you told me in text 144,000 so you, maybe they are one one hundred uh, forty three and nine hundred ninety nine thousand is that what you mean only only Allah knows but he only Allah know. knows so how you give me this number as long only Allah knows a second ago Allah. you said to me 144 and now only Allah knows because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he revealed the number. So um Okay, you said to me yeah, even yeah, even, even to Germany. What is the name of the Prophet to Germany? 
All right, we can look that up, but we also believe yeah. No, 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 no. Don't tell me, don't tell me we can look it up. You are the one who told me Allah he sent even to Germany. Right. What is the name of the prophet? Right. You are the one who pick up Germany. So who what is the name of the Muslim right. prophet to Germany? All right. So the only prophets we can hundred percent say that there was a prophet mm -hmm. was the prophets were revealed in the Quran. But outside of that, mm -hmm. um, you can see if it may be a, a special person in twelve time he came uh, with the same uh, comparable message. Mm -hmm. But every of those prophets' mm -hmm. messages. Okay, well, who is the prophet That's who come to Germany? Prophet. Okay, who is the prophet who come to Germany? And he says you have uh, to let's, kiss, let's say, let's you say, have to kiss a black stone. Who is that prophet before Muhammad? Um, um the the um Kaaba thing that only came with the last prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam why the black stone was so existed that since the time of uh, before even adam the, the, the uh, tawhid they came with tawhid what the, what tawhid. what tawhid mean uh, i thought those are 144000 they are muslim right so what came tawhid i'm asking you what is the name of the prophet who came to germany islam wasn't the same before Muhammad. So, so, what, it, so it, it was it was Hinduism. Islam, Islam was Islam was Hinduism no, it before. Was, it, it had it did have the same law. Islam means a uh, Muslim means the ones who follow Islam, like the word. Guys, who? Muslim means the it's one who follow Islam. Islam. I mean, thank you for the definition, man. I could not believe it that you gave me this one. Islam mean the one who follow the Muslim mean the one who follow Islam. Yes. So, so the, like, okay. So fair, so so okay. Fair. Okay. Let me let me let me make it simple. So the one who drink milk is a uh, is milk follower. Um, he no. The one who walks is a walker. You put the er after the word like in Arabic. I know Arabic better than you. You man. know Arabic. Because okay. Speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me in Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic. I'm Arabic. I'm Arabic. Speak to me in Arabic, you idiot. Don't tell me what was that. Speak uh, Arabic. I'm Tarabi. Speak to me in Arabic. <laughs> you are, you are, Arabic, you are, you are reciting to a verse from the Quran. You don't speak Arabic. Why are you online? Let's not do it. Let me let me let us make it simple. Yes, brother. Uh, you as a Muslim, and we have like one thousand yes. people listening. What second? There's one thousand people listening. Okay, so now you as a Muslim when you kiss the black stone, how you feel? When I kiss the black stone, how you feel? Well, if I how do you feel when you kiss your mother's uh, feet? So your, if you your the black hands. stone is the mother of the Muslims. Well, brother, the Quran is perfect. I don't know about the hadiths. It doesn't say kiss the black stone in the Quran. Are you saying that your prophet is a liar? You should follow the Quran only, brother. Why does it say in the Bible that God regretted? If God well, uh, is no, he, he is saying he regret, which the, the regret here mean that look at you, a bunch of idiot who believe that a stone is going to speak in the day of judgment. So God, He created you to be something different. He gave you free will, but you turn to be you want you choose to be something else. So this is what it's regret mean. He regret his if he's sorry for you, not for himself. Now let us let no, us let us see at your God. I wish I never do your God do your God regret the creating you? No. Okay. So what does hadith mean then? Hmm. Let me open the YouTube, brother. Hmm. And stop calling me brother. You know that in Islam you are not allowed to call me brother. Why are you online? No, my. Hmm. Um, this one, mm. Abu Huraira, mm. will report Allah's message having said, mm. this one, brother? Uh, yeah. Uh, by him in whose hand is my life, if you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. Mm. And he was replaced by those people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah, and he would have pardoned mm. them. Okay, so if you don't commit sin, Allah, yes, will, Allah will regret? Creating you and he will fix that by erasing you. What kind of God this God is why he want to kill you destroy you He regret creating you because you are not committing sin Oh, do you want to call a friend? Yes um, uh, hmm. 
through Allah, he is a, he's a, he's a shaitan. He likes people to commit sin. This is his game. He enjoy it. What do you enjoy in your life? What, what is the best joy you have? What is the hobby you have? Allah, he have a hobby. He likes people to commit sin, go sleep around, have sex, killing, rape, and then that make him happy. If you don't do that, Allah will kill you. No. Well, here we go. It's in the front of you. Don't tell he me no. Why. Abdul, don't tell me no. It's in front of you. But brother, you know why? Uh, Abdul, don't tell me why. Don't, don't tell me, not... brother. Answer. It says, if you don't commit sin, Allah will kill you. Am I lying or this what it says? Allah wouldn't have created you. Okay, Allah created us to commit sin. That's what it says. If you don't commit sin, will destroy us. No, so, to repent. Huh? How can I repent if I commit sin? Okay, this is, here we go. So Allah, he created us so he can play with us. We are like a toy for him. So he, he wants us to commit sin because he want to feel like, hey, ask me for forgiveness. Yeah, right. Uh -huh. Ask more. Yes, cry. Cry for me. Yeah. But this, your God is a stupid God. So in this, if we don't commit sin, we are bad people for him. If we commit sin, then ask me for forgiveness. That will make it good for him. Your God is mental. He, have a, he need to go and see a doctor. Shrink. Did you, did you see a shrink before? As what? Did you see a shrink before? A shrimp. Shrink, shrink, not shrimp. Oh, shrink. Shrink, yes. yeah. Did you see a shrink? Okay. Uh, what What do you think what? about a person? Well, what? what? Shrink is a, is a mental, like a, a doctor who have a degree, like me, a doctor in, uh, in shrinkingism. Let me see. There's a different Muslim he want to answer. Hold on. He's smarter than you. Yes, Abdul. Hello. Hello. Yes, Kasim. Hey, Kasim, how are you? Yeah, I just want to address the hadith I posted. All right, about, go ahead. Um, That's wonderful. Go ahead. Didn't see. All right. Yeah. So that is for emphasis. So basically, Allah told us about Jahannam. Hmm. He told us that people will, um, the people who do bad, uh, who do bad, they go to Jahannam. So this hadith is emphasis to um, put the hearts of the believers into ease to know that. You are going to sin. It's the it's, it's part of life. Um, you just need to repent. So Muhammad, he wants you to feel not guilty, right? So you can go and commit sin and feel comfortable, sin as much as you want. Because if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. So if you want to stay survive with Allah, according to the logic of you and you're a prophet, then you have to commit sin. Otherwise, Allah will be angry from us. So doing sin is the good thing to do. It's a good choice, correct? No, 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 because in another, in another narration, uh, the Prophet told us mm. that the son of Adam are sinners, and the best of sinners are those who, um, mm. but, who repent. But hold so on, it shows I, that you remember, you called me you before, are, you called me before, and I show you that the sin of Adam is not the sin of Adam, it's the sin of Allah. Isn't it Allah who made Adam commit sin, he forced him to do sin? He didn't, he didn't force him. No? Okay, let us see. Hadith about, uh, okay, yeah, let us see again. About, let us see again. Everybody, everybody will laugh in a second. You said he did not force him, right? You are the one who said to me he forced him. You forgot? You forgot what you said to me? You said that it's recorded. Oh, yeah. Okay, read with me. Here we go. It says that Allah, He wrote for me a decree, a deeds which I should do. It's a decree which I should do. It is not something I choose to do. A decree, correct? Does it say that? So Allah decreed. Okay. Yeah, so what what that means is that Allah decreed. Um, it was written that this is how it's going to happen. So it, it's already. No, no, no. He said that time. I should do that. I should do. So he yeah, said, he, "Okay, okay, hold on, hold on." He's saying, "Do you blame me?" So what is the answer? Is you cannot blame me. So Moses is blaming Adam for his sin. Adam saying, "You cannot blame me." So Adam here saying. I am not the one to blame. This is something Allah He wrote for me that I should do. Okay, well, what this means is this is how it's gonna happen anyway. No, no, so no, this is, no, 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 no. This is not about only how it's going. That's mean it is. You don't blame me because this is something I should do. I should do. What does that mean? I should do. Does he say I should do? I haven't read that. It says that in the front of you. Read it. Suddenly you became blind now. It says, no, I, I should you. do. I should do. It's a decreed by Allah and I should do. So do you blame me? No, we can't blame you. Why? Because this is something I should do. Who is the one saying that? Adam. And who is the one agree with him? Muhammad. Um, so yeah, it says you are Moses. Allah chose you. 
do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah has decreed that I should do? Hmm. So Allah decreed this, so Allah wrote this, this was gonna happen. Well, you know that, don't repeat. So, but he should do, it's not a choice. He should do. He had a choice. We, we didn't, we didn't the decree Allah has uh, given uh, given him uh, My friend, if, uh, you have a, if you have a choice, then he should say, he should not say, don't, do you blame me? If he have a choice, if he made a choice, then yes, we can blame him. Everybody can read, everybody's laughing at your answer, trying to, to, to escape, escape the, the stupidity of, of this cult. He, when he said, do you blame me? Obviously, you are saying you cannot blame me, correct? So, so I the way there's a wisdom behind the, why Allah... Don't tell me no wisdom. You see, you're trying to escape. He said, do you blame me? That's mean you cannot blame him, correct? Yeah, you can't blame him anyway because he, he did it. I'll for, forget. For okay, him. so we cannot blame Adam for his sin. For this is not his sin because if he is, this is his choice. That's mean we can blame him. If you commit sin, well, we can blame you for your sin. You commit sin, but here he says you blame me, so we cannot blame Adam. Do you agree? Of course, he's he's not. We don't we don't regard Adam commit a sin anyway. What does that mean? I'm asking you. Do you blame Adam or not? No. But okay. So, uh, so that's that's it. So you cannot say Adam he chose to do sin. So Allah he forced Adam to do sin, and that will make your God a sick God. This is stupid. So Allah he made Adam commit sin. So Adam will go and ask Allah for forgiveness. It's not sin. What Adam did was uh, was not sin. What do you mean not sin? Adam, Adam, when when Allah disobey, uh, uh, when Adam he disobey Allah is not a sin. No, he did out of uh, forgetfulness. It was not what he did. What he did it out of forgetfulness. So he, he For, forgot. forgot? He for, guys, he forgot. Yeah. He forgot. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah you find it. Ah, okay. I know. I know. I know what you will find. Here we go. Hmm. Let us show you. I know the verse you are talking about. People will laugh at you. Here we go. Read this verse and laugh at the other verse you will quote for me before you quote it. So people will laugh more. What the verse saying? Then Shaitan, he whispered to him, saying, O Adam, shall I lead you to the tree of eternity and to a kingdom that will never waste away? Does it say that? And then Adam, and then Adam, he ate from the tree. So your so Quran says, kid. okay, your Quran says that Adam, he forgot, right? But here it says different story. This is a contradiction. Adam did not forget. Shaitan, he whispered into him. And then Allah, no, he so says he, to him, get down. Yeah. So you see, you see, um, uh, Adam, and he forgot the command of Allah. So that's what we Hold say. on, so then hold on, hold on. Okay, I can say the same too. I forgot the command of Allah. Is that will make me sinner or right. not? If you actually forgot, then it's not sinful. Allah, he gave him only one command. And this guy, he forgot this command. One command only. Don't eat from this tree. I mean, how hard to remember this command? And he forgot this command. How in the world do you believe in this? Secondly, the hadith says it clearly. The hadith, oh, hold on. Here it says, Allah, he, and then he asked Allah for forgiveness. Okay, why Allah, he asked, why he's asking for forgiveness? If he just forgot. And here it says that Allah, this, hold on. Just to show how Muslim, they try to lie. Does it say thus did Adam disobey his Lord and he went astray? Let me see the screen one minute. Hmm. So what's the right? This is Surah. Uh, are you serious? You don't know what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah, what's You don't know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, uh, I got it. I want to check it myself. Okay, this is chapter twenty, verse one twenty-one. Chapter twenty, verse twenty-one. Hmm. 
so when you're reading before you don't know what they're talking about you, you were saying okay okay yeah. So it says here, Allah said, see the and fear not to be returned to his former condition. Mm -hmm. So, so does, does, it say, does it say yeah. that Adam disobey his Lord? Does it say disobey or forgot the order of his Lord? Um, is it Surah 20, verse 21? Yeah, 121. 121. Oh, I want to And Adam and his wife ate of it, and their prior past became apparent to them. And they began to fasten all themselves from the leaves of paradise. And Adam disobeyed his Lord and erred. So, hmm. so he erred. So, did he so disobey he disobeyed Allah? Allah? Did he disobey Allah or not? Yes, it's still disobedience, isn't it? Okay. So if you don't, if you don't so, listen to him, it's still disobedience. If I forgot disobedience? Of course. So for example, if, if your dad told you to do something, and you forgot, you, it's obviously disobedience, isn't it? You didn't listen. Mm. You didn't. Okay. Um, you didn't. Uh, so the okay. If, so is that? Uh, let us. I will go with you. I will go with the with the lie you are giving me. Let us say Adam he I'm forgot. Back. Okay. Let us say Adam he forgot. Is that a sin you for forgot. Allah? Is that a sin for Allah or it's not a sin? What's that? When Ad, you said Adam he forgot. He just forgot. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Is that a sin or it's not? It's not a sin, but it's still um, so the fact that you repent. It is a sin or not? It is a sin or not? It's not a sin. It's not a sin. No. Okay. Prophets don't do sin. So prophet don't do sin? Are you sure? No. 100%. Okay. All right. Let us see this, guys. Lie will cover under the lie, and the lie we will continue. Let us see. Isn't it the Quran says that Muhammad, he is a sinner, and Allah gave him an extra privilege to forgive his sin in the past and the one to come which translation is your favorite translation do you have a favorite translation for the Quran here we go let us say that Muhammad he commits sin chapter 48 verse number two no he doesn't he doesn't begin, begin, um, commit sin. read the verse look like your God Allah is lying to us then you are a truthful person. Allah is lying. Allah, he says that Allah may forgive thee of the sin which in the past and the sin to come. Which one of you is lying? Allah or you? So Allah got rid of all his sins. Like there was no sin. So he had no sin. If he have no sin, how he will forgive him for no sin? He have no sin. I mean, who is the stupid here? If you don't have sin, and then I will forgive you for the sin. You'd, you, it says in the past and the one to come. So you have no sin, but I will forgive you for the past sin and the coming sin. Are you crazy or what? We have to look at the tafsir of it. So what does okay, read the tafsir uh, of it. Go ahead, read the tafsir for it. Uh, um, <laughs> the, I'll do yeah, it. Just, 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 take, just take care. Just take care. What a bunch of liars. What a bunch of liars. Islam is a stupid cult. Adam did not commit sin. Allah forced him to commit sin. And we have the proof in the front of us. Do you blame me? And you see here, Adam, Musa did not say to Adam, oh, because you forgot. No, he did not say to him, because you forgot. You are our father, and because of you, we are of heaven. What for God? When the Quran speak about you for God, that's mean you disobey. We give you an order, and because you forgot me, I forget you. This is what the verse is saying. You see how they try to fabricate, and they think you know, like it, 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 this honesty is the flag of Islam. Because you forgot me, I will forget you, and I will send you to hell fire. And the verse in the front of you. You do not know where to find the verse. It's in the front of our eyes. 
But here is not about because he forgot he have an excuse. What forgot? Forgot here is mean. The, the, the Quran says that the Christians they forgot and the Jews they forgot a good portion of our 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 teaching, and this is why we will send them to hell. Forgot here is not about okay, I will give you excuse. No, it's mean that they ignore it. Stop lying. And this is the translation. قال كذلك أتتك آياتنا فنسيتها. This is how our verses came to you and you forgot it. Muslim translation, what it is? It says they kill you. Tell you what does that mean? And this is a Muslim translation. Our verses came to you. Our teaching came to you. But what you did? You disgraced them. I.e., you left them. You turn away from them. And they say you turn away from them, we will neglect you in the day of judgment. We will send you to hell. So do you see how they lie and they fabricate and they try to fool you because simply you do not know Arabic and we can't play the games and you do not have knowledge in this cult. So we can, you know, just play a, a little, a, a little, a little uh, delusion and supposedly you are a fool and we can fool you. And that will work, by the way. We'll work with many Western who have no idea what Islam is about. But that does not work with us. Islam is a very stupid cult believe that sin is a destiny it is not a choice and we have many videos about it actually if you have my books you will see the destiny and how stupid it is to be a Muslim actually because you are you are not a Muslim even by choice it's not a choice to be a Muslim or not it's all a choice and Muhammad he made that clearly when he said that a person he would do the deeds of hellfire and almost there is between him and fire one arm one arm and then what Allah he wrote for him will proceed so entering heaven or entering hell in Islam is not what you do it's what Allah he wrote for you and by Allah a person among you may do the deeds of people of the fire Tell there is a one cupid or an arm beneath or a brief distance between him and the fire. But then that is written by Allah or writing, which Allah ordered the angel to write between two brackets. Proceed and he does the deeds of people of paradise and he enters. So what will make the difference is what Allah wrote. It's not what the deed you do. It's what Allah wrote for you will proceed. This is how stupid this religion is, which means it doesn't matter you believe or you don't it's what Allah wrote for you already it's written you will go heaven you go hell it's not what you do do you see how they try to fool us so Adam when he commits sin it's not up to him it's written the deed he wrote for him 40 years before his creation this is why only fool only a foolish person who have no brain will believe in such a cult Abdulism this Abdulism, the cult of Abdulism, is literally stupid. How many of you believe that the cult of Abdulism have any good in it? What is the logic if I will go to hell just because Allah, he wrote for me a, 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 a deed which proceed? Not my deeds. It is his deed. Where is justice? And then Muhammad continues saying the opposite. And the man, read carefully, and the man may do the deeds of people of paradise. Look at this guy. He joined Jujahideen, he joined Al-Qaeda, ISIS, he killed Christians. And then there's only one cubit between him and paradise. The guy is almost there. And then that is written, written by who? By Allah, proceeds and he does the deeds of people of hellfire and he enter it. So it's not what you do. It's what Allah wrote for you. It's, it's, it's so clear. Somebody saying like Calvinism, that's stupid of you to say. What does this have to do with Calvinism? Calvinism does not believe in that. Don't be stupid. This is about that it's not you who decide. It's not what you did, what you believe. It's what Allah, he wrote for you before he created you.
So why I want to believe in Islam? At the end of the day, what Allah wrote for me will happen to me. Regardless, if it's heaven or hell, it's like it's like a gambling thing. Right? It's a gambling. Only fool they can accept such a gambling teaching. Calvinism believe in the predestination. Well, as I know that Calvinism believe in predestination in the way that God he knew where you would end. It's not he who wrote your destiny. All right? It's about knowing where you will end. It's not about God he wrote your destiny. So, knowing where you go is a destiny. Which means you cannot change it, for he is knowing where you will go. It is something like if it happened already. But it's not him writing deeds for you which you should do and then you go. This is totally different. Calvinism does not believe in the or and the free will. I don't know what Calvinism you are reading about. Who is the one who believe in the who is the Christian believe that there is no free will? Isn't it Jesus says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Hmm? So if you are a Christian and then you believe in that, this is this against the Bible. If you believe there's no free will. Right? And I think most of you do understand what is Calvinism about in a wrong way. Because maybe like, you know, you see there's many, uh, many, uh, uh, many people who believe in those uh, things. And every one of them, he give you his own idea. Uh, the one who created this is John Calvin, supposedly. Uh, but this is absolutely not from the Bible. And then I believe there's some people they add uh, uh, they add belief to a belief, you know. And let us say to make you not to accept that belief, they add belief to it. Any Abdul? Anyone? And if you read the definition of Cal Calvinism or the idea of this guy Calvin, you will see that he's speaking about the original sin that we have, the, the nature of sinners. Yes, we have the nature of sin, still we have the free will. Because any crime, any sin we do, still it, it's, it's based on our choice. Still we have a free will. So we have nature of sin, which means our, our nature accepts sin. Our nature accepts sin. Uh, let us say adopts sin. But not necessarily that because I am a sin of Adam, I would do what Adam does. You know? But our nature adopts him. And this is what the Bible says, that every human being is a sinner. So we can say that if we want to say like uh, the destiny that all of us, we are sinners, it's a destiny of, let us say, uh, uh, of a free will. But in the same time, it's a proving to be true that all of us, we commit sin. So we have a free will. This is our, our destiny too, to have a free will. There's only two things in Christianity you don't have a free will for. Actually, we can say three. 
but the most major ones uh, to be born or not and to die or not those is not a choice and the third one you can say that our nature our body is weak I mean who of you can correct how he is the way we are born whatever it is so those are not a choice we don't have a destiny for a free will for them but the rest of things we do in our life we have a free will especially if God he gave you uh, the ability to think and to make decision if you are a person who was born crazy okay you did not choose that that is a destiny but not destiny God he made it for you this is the destiny of birth let us say there is a defect you you, you uh, your mother she took drugs maybe when she is uh, you know she's carrying you and that affect your brain so it's not your fault let us say we can say it's a destiny but not destiny of God this is the destiny of normal things happen to us in our life based on our our body nature uh, we die if somebody shoot you you die if somebody hurt you you die if you get sick you might die so it's a it's a destiny that our our body cannot resist death or disease or let us let us say there's a limit of resistance but the rest is about what we believe what we believe what we think about this is a this is a choice all right <clears throat> And actually, if you go and read about this, uh, the Calvinism, John Cal, you know, you will see that most of you, obviously, you have a very, very wrong understanding about this guy. But for me, clearly, I don't believe in philosophy, or people try to make philosophy out of uh, out of something. I believe in what Jesus said, and anything else, no teacher, no priest, no bishop, is the one who will teach me. One verse will answer everybody, and this is why I keep repeating this verse. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, but the one who do his will. So, yes, there is a will of God, but there is your will. And now that and now your choice to do his will or not to do his will. So if you do his will, you can say, Okay, you made your destiny by the will of God, which means you gave yourself to God. Okay, I will do your will. I trust on you. But this is still your choice. Anything else is not the teaching of the Bible. At the same time, you know, the logic of reward and penalty is based on what? If I have a destiny. You know what I mean? If my destiny is to be sinner, then why I'm punished? So you need to understand what 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 the what the definition of destiny based on the religion. Every religion or cult or teaching. They have different understanding for destiny. So destiny, maybe it's one word, but it has many definitions, depend in the believer and what he believe. Like, I have a destiny that I have to sleep. If this is what you mean, yeah, I have to sleep. My body have, you know, have an ability to stay awake. After that, I will collapse, correct? So we can say this is a destiny. But when we talk about sin, if you say my destiny is to commit sin, in the meaning that God, he decided for me, what I will do exactly today and what I will do exactly tomorrow and what the sin I do the rape I do the steal I do the lie I do it's Allah he decided for me that's mean this God is a false God even if he's true he must be the devil you know what I mean because why you want to punish me for something you decide for me to do it's you who who, who choose to do it not me so why you want to punish me for it and this is totally against the teaching of Christ you see Christ he's saying asking us to give a fruit so if our fruit is a destiny then we do not we do not need to ask her for the fruit correct guys didn't he say from their their fruits you shall know them Christians did the Christ say from their fruits you shall know them okay if there is a destiny then this is the fruit of God not the our fruit but we will known by the fruit from their fruit the fruit is yours and the fruits here, it can be better fruits and can be good fruits. So from their fruit, you shall know them. So how God, he know you, not by a destiny. He know you by the fruit. Not by your name. Not by your color. Not by your age. Not by your gender. Male or female. Black or white. Chinese or whatever. 
you will be known by your fruits and this is exactly what the free will is about so anyone who says to you in Christianity we don't believe in free will he is a liar and guys I don't want to see comment about gay and transgender please if he is a transgender none of your business speak as mature as adult all right so for us we will not follow philosophy or some ideas we follow what the Bible says anything out of the Bible is not from Christ you have a holy book and this is the only book it's called the holy for us anything else Christian Prince he says something he cannot support it from the Bible it's mean he's lying he's fabricating follow no priest follow no bishop Follow no one, even those there's many they claim to be prophets. Follow what is in the book. And what is in the book is clear. You see, when the when the Messiah spoke to the Father, he said, Let your will be done. About what? About the crucifixion. It's not a destiny. You see, the, the Father, the Father, the Messiah is speaking to the Father, let your will be done. Do you see how the free will work? So here, when you say, let your will be done, it's the Messiah saying, let your will be done. And the same for us. Let your will be done. And what is your will? You shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not lie. You, 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 you. He's saying to you what you shall not do, what you can do. So the will of God is not to do. So what is the destiny? Are we listening, guys? The will of God is, you see it in the Ten Commandment. That is the will of God. So if we believe in destiny, well, God do not need to say to us, don't do that. Because that will be silly. The same as what happened to Adam, or hear the story in front of us. You say to them, don't commit sin. Like here, look at this hadith here. Just to show you the difference between our belief and Abdulism belief. When a person he commits sin of adultery, as an example, I mean in, in, in Abdulism religion. Why he commit adultery? Because Allah He this deny for him how much adultery he will do. Do you see it? Do you see it, guys? Adultery you do in Islam is not a choice. It's a destiny. But isn't it Jesus says to you, if your eye will mislead you, you better take it away. Is that true? So you have a choice. Do you understand me, guys? The Messiah, he says, if your eye will mislead you, get rid of it. And here it's not about taking your eye, really. It's about, okay, what is the temptation coming from? Get away from it. Still, because if you don't, then you will go to the hell. Here, no. Here it is. Allah has fixed very portion of adultery, which a man will indulge, which means you have to do. It's a fixed portion made by Allah. It's not a choice. But Jesus was saying totally the opposite. He did not make you do adultery. He don't want you to do adultery. He encouraged you to stay away from those sins. In Islam is not a choice so anyone he come to you with any teaching away from the teaching of Christ is obviously what what the what the, what the Lord he said yeah yeah nay nay okay yeah yeah Christ yeah yeah the Bible anything else is nay nay and anything else is from the devil and that is the devil talking to you in front of you it's trying to make you believe that when you commit adultery, okay, it's not you, it's not you, it's Allah He made to you do it. So you feel not guilty. Do you remember the guy who called me? He says, Here the prophet he said, if you don't commit sin, Allah will wipe you out of the existence. What he said? That to ease, to ease it in us. What does that mean? He will make you not to feel guilty. So you know, you commit sin, it's your destiny. Easy to us, so don't feel bad. 
Just ask Allah for forgiveness. Hmm? So, glory to the Lord. We have the Messiah who nobody can speak about his dignity. Nobody can attack his dignity. Nobody can speak about his sin for he commit none. And nobody can say he encouraged us to commit sin. And if I am a Christian and I'm doing sin, that is my sin. You see, uh, uh, sometimes you see a Christian says, uh, uh, we pray that we will not shame the, the Christ. No Christian can shame Christ. No Christian can shame Christ. When we do sin, we shame ourselves. Me as a Christian, if I commit sin, what I have to do with the Christ? I'm just a follower. So if I don't follow, I'm not a follower. As simple as that. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, remember, what, what does that mean? There's many they will say to me, Lord, Lord, but only few belong to me. So there is people who say it, and there is people who say it, and they do it. And that is the free will in Christianity. You say, and you do what you say. Lord, Lord, I obey you. Lord, Lord, I follow you. So if the destiny is me choosing by free will to follow Jesus, that is a good, positive destiny. I choose it. Not the destiny in Islam where you are not making any choice anyway. Where you go is not your choice. The sin you do is not your choice. In Christianity, everything you do is your choice. And this is why he said from their fruits, you shall know them. And I wish reading my English is better because sometimes I try to express the Bible. You know, the Bible is very deep topic. And always I find my language is very limited when I will speak about the Bible because the teaching of Christ is very deep. It's like, it's amazing. And my language is far away from even to share what I want to say. You find yourself very limited. Sometimes even I don't know what to say. The, the words are like, you know, I try my best, but sometimes I, actually not sometimes, always when I talk about the Bible, I find myself very limited in the ability because of language skills. Uh, this is this is an amazing book. This is not a stupid Quran where you know we just love the Bible. You see the amazing thing about the Bible. You open right now any any page in the New Testament, any page, and read it, and you will see that this is the best the best book of philosophy. In the same time, is the best book of being simple. Is the best book of spirituality. In the same time, it's very deep. Simple words, simple lines. But you feel like it's like an ocean of knowledge you read a verse today you read it tomorrow you will see tomorrow you will see it as if it's something new and one of the most beautiful thing about the bible the teaching of christ that it live with you which means today we are in the language of uh, high-tech javascript window mac smartphones Still, you can read any story of Christ teaching the parable of Jesus. You will see it fit with your life today. For this is a living book. For this is the word of God. In the beginning, it was the word and the word was with God and the word was the God. He is the, you know, the Messiah for me is the walking, talking living word of God is not a body of a statues like we make it statues and we make it like holy this is the word of God who is living who is with us every two of you mention my name I will be between it's a living word it's a living God so the second you start reading, you will find yourself in different level. And even if you are a farmer who have no education, or you are a person who have a PhD, you will feel how beautiful it is. Each one of us will enjoy it in different way, but yet it's the same words. The Muslim they are, they recite the Quran trying to add the music to it to make it look nice. They bring someone for you who have a nice voice. But who care about how nice you make it by recitation when the words are empty and stupid? 
So they try to cover the emptiness of this religion. It is not a spiritual. Have nothing to do with spirituality. Even their God himself is not a spirit. It's about ritual. It's about practicing rituals. It's about doing one, two, three, four. And then after you do the one, two, two three, four, it's still you will find yourself that you are not going anywhere because it's time, based and destiny. In Christianity, it is totally the opposite. It's not what you go in your mouth will make you dirty. It's what comes from your mouth. Muslim, they focus in the wrong direction. It's what goes in your mouth make you dirty, not what goes from your mouth. So we have totally 180 degree opposite direction between the teaching of Christ and the teaching of Muhammad. While Muhammad saying the one who touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, it erased his sin. Jesus saying, not everyone say to me, Lord, Lord. You can scream, God, 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 as much as you wish. That will not make you out of your sin. Because you are empty. And you think you can fool God. My friend, we don't follow a philosopher. We follow God. Even though his words is the best philosophy the best logic I saw once an atheist saying to me well you are saying to us that if we don't believe in God then this God he will burn us what is the logic of that the logic is very simple it's very simple there's somebody saying to you I can save you and you say to him I don't want you to save me so why you are complaining about his logic because now it is your logic. It's your logic you don't want to be saved. It's your logic you don't want to believe. It's your logic you don't want to be helped. So when he don't help you, you accuse him to be bad. You told him you don't want, I don't want you. Leave me alone. As simple as that. So I want to say thank you guys. Don't forget to download the video immediately. It take about 20 minutes before you can download it usually. And then you can download it. And right away after the first one, the first one he download the video, I always post his video either in my in, in, in Patreon, in Facebook, and that will make you get more and more subscribers. So the first one he get to download the video, always the one who get the chance to get more subscribers to his account in YouTube. Let us see today who was going to be the first. Thank you, and may the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord, and Abdulism, Islam, is false. And nothing else except the truth will save us, and the truth will set you free. And the only truth we know, the only truth we saw, the only truth we heard is the name of Christ and Christ himself. The truth in earth, the truth in heaven, for God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son for all mankind, black, white, Asian. All of us, we are children of God. And no one is better than any for all of us as a children. So choose to be his child so you belong to the father. And the one who belongs to the father is the one who made the right decision. It's your free will to be his child or not. And I choose to be his child. Thank you, and see you soon again. Take care.